as we all know. Chips have different specifications a chip is essentially an integrated circuit the smaller the manufacturing process the more complex the circuit integrated in the same area and the stronger the circuit performance of course the smaller the chip the more difficult the manufacturing process therefore we often hear about 7 nanometers 5 nanometers chips etc the nanometer here refers to the size of the chip with the development of technology and products the performance. Requirements of chips are getting higher so the specifications of chips are getting smaller but have you heard of 2 nanometers chips the manufacturing process of such a small chip is far more complicated than that of 5 nanometers and 7 nanometers chips and many semiconductor manufacturers have begun to target 2 nanometers chips for them 2 nanometers chips are not just as simple as improving performance the competition of 2 nanometers chips represents the highest level of chip Manufacturing whoever can produce 2 nanometers chips first and mass produce them will have the first opportunity to obtain a large number of orders 2 nanometers as the commanding height of the stage sounded the horn of the battle of advanced chip manufacturing process what are the difficulties in the development of 2 nanometers chips which companies are participating in the 2 nanometers chip competition. Today we will talk about 2 nanometers chips and the competitors at present in the advanced technology track only TSMC Samsung Intel and IBM are among the best now the most advanced process technology is 4 nanometers and only TSMC and Samsung can reach this technology level in the world according to the news released by TSMC and Samsung 2022 will be the birth year of 3 nanometers and both have shown their determination to mass produce 2 nanometers in 2025 although 3 Nanometers chip has not yet reached mass production it can be seen from the RD progress of several major manufacturers on 3 nanometers therefore in the research and development of 2 nanometers chips only TSMC Samsung and IBM are competing Moore's law is still advancing as a promoter of advanced technology TSMC launched 7 nanometers in 2018 5 nanometers in 20 20 and 3 nanometers is scheduled in 2022 and the 2 nanometers process is also being developed smoothly according to TSMC's official information TSMC's 3 nanometers process has increased logic density by 1.7 times compared to 5 nanometers process improved performance by 11% and reduced power consumption by 25% to 30% under the same performance in 2 nanometers process TSMC will launch nano sheet transistor architectures and use new materials which will Further improved chips performance power consumption and density TSMC will use the GAFET process in 2 nanometers Chips at present TSMC has trial produced 3 nanometers chips and it is expected to be mass produced this year however TSMC's 3 nanometers process is still using FinFET technology from research and development to production FinFET to GAF it also requires some adaptation Samsung as TSMC's most powerful rival has developed rapidly in recent years and has repeatedly stated publicly that it will compete with TSMC in the field of chip processing Samsung is the only one in the world who dares to challenge TSMC at the Yetim 2021 International Electronic Components Conference Samsung and IBM announced a chip design technology called Vertical Transfer Field Effect Transistor FET and said that the technology has broken. Through the current bottleneck of one nanometer process design this is undoubtedly inconceivable in October. 2021 Samsung announced that the 3 nanometers chip has been successfully taped out and would start production in the first half of 2022 and the 2 nanometers chip would be mass produced in 2025. The biggest surprise that IBM brought us was the world's first 2 nanometers manufacturing process released in May 2021 and a full 300 millimeters wafer produced by the 2 nanometers process was demonstrated at its factory in Albany, New York. It is estimated that IBM's 2 nanometers process may integrate 333 million transistors per square millimeter of Chips in comparison TSMC's 5 nanometers process is about 171 million transistors per square millimeter and Samsung's 5 nanometers process is about 127 million transistors per square millimeter this makes the performance of 2 nanometers chips expected to increase by 45% and power consumption to be reduced by 75 however this 2 nanometers chip has not been truly industrialized it adopted the GAA process this laboratory process is very different from the mass production process whether the mass Production of 2 nanometers chips can be achieved in the future it will need to go through 3 difficulties these 3 
Difficulties refer to materials transistor architectures and lithography machines respectively. The following video will explain the three difficulties in detail. First of all, for the research and development of two nanometers, the selection of new materials will play a crucial role as well as the application. The semiconductor process has gradually approached the physical limits so the change of transistor structure the application of emerging materials or the evolution of packaging technology will be the key to the continuous improvement of chip performance and reduction of power consumption. Two and one dimensional materials are the potential materials to break through the R&D of advanced processes below two nanometers in the future. Two or one dimensional materials such as graphene carbon nanotubes and transition metal compounds are small in size and are expected to replace silicon based in the future. Secondly, the focus of the two nanometers process technology is that the transistor Architecture will officially enter the gaffet from fina fitty compared with fin fet gaffet is wrapped around on all sides which can effectively improve performance and control leakage reduce power consumption TSMC and 2 nanometers will be officially introduced into gaffet Samsung 2 nanometers process will be its second generation gaffet architecture process and it is expected that the overall stability and performance will be further improved finally has the existing lithography machine already met the production needs of 2 nanometers chip the current lithography machine supports the R&D of the 2 nanometer process without any problem and the lithography machine with the 5 nanometers mass production process can be realized. However, considering the cost the lithography machine required for mass production is still under development by ASML according to published information ASML is developing a high NA UV lithography machine that can meet the development and production requirements of 2 nanometers chip the first high NA UV lithography machine will open for early testing in 2023 with mass production starting in 2025 with the improvement of demand and the advancement of technology it is the trend of future development that the chip size becomes smaller and smaller the research and development of two nanometers chips has been successful in half will there be one nanometer and 0.5 nanometers chips in the future i think it is possible that future chips may not appear in the form of current chips although it is now in the post more era the r d of two nanometers has gradually emerged but whether it will continue to develop to 1 nanometer at present except for a few fields that require large computing power or storage capacity mature processes of 1 nanometer and above can almost fully meet all the needs of civilian chips which company do you think will come out on top first to mass produce 2 nanometers chips which company can give priority to the development of 1 nanometer chips welcome to share with us okay that's all. For today please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people thank you for watching. In addition, TSMC has a rhythm bike compact model of technological innovation. Generally, there will be three teams. For example, there will be one team engaged in the R&D and yield improvement of the 3 nanometers process, one team will be engaged in the R&D of the 2 nanometers process, and another team will be engaged in the R&D of the 1.5 nanometers process path, pathfinding and wait until 3 after the mass production of the nanometer process. The 3 nanometers process team will jump to the 1.5 nanometers team to join R&D, and the 1.5 nanometers team will jump to the next generation pathfinding research and development, and so on. So what we see from the outside world is that TSMC's product development takes 2 years as a cycle, but in fact, it may take 5 to 6 years from preparation to mass production. And TSMC also has its own way of working on yield control. An equipment R&D expert described his experience in cooperation with TSMC. TSMC's major factories have great initiative, and they can adjust the machine settings according to the actual situation, rather than purely implementing the parameters set by R&D. This is very helpful for the improvement of yield. This is like cooking, the same dish, made in an iron pan and made in a casserole, may require different heating time and ingredients. Some factories may be able to increase the yield rate from 20% to 80% in a year. This is the real skill and ability of the fab. The above-mentioned R&D personnel said. Under the new process architecture, it may be difficult to determine who will win, but from the current situation, TSMC, which has the longest foundry history, is more stable in the advancement of Moore's law. 
it may not be so easy for new entrants to get a piece of the pie from old players such as TSMC and Samsung. But the more you go to the advanced manufacturing process, the more it can be done by not only one or a few companies, but more companies, research institutes and governments from all over the world are required to join. Technological Innovation as a Global Collaboration The 2 nanometer process is still in the ascendant. The discussion on the 1.5 nanometer process has already started at the Semiconductor Technical Seminar. After 2025, a new architecture will appear, which the industry calls Fort Sheet, and by 2030, there will be a new the structure is discussed and may become a reality. Moore's law will slow, but it will likely continue. 